Did you know that DevOps can accomplish tasks in minutes which used to take hours or even days of work? So the companies can focus more on their business or the product. And maybe that's why IT industry is adopting DevOps at such a rapid pace. In next few minutes, I will show you how thousands of companies are evolving and adopting DevOps culture. Hi, welcome. My name is Imran. I'm a DevOps consultant and a trainer. Let me help you understand what is DevOps and how it can solve some business critical problems. Everyone likes a good story. And here it is. Meet Emma. She's an artist and has a passion of collecting artworks. Emma has her own art gallery from where she sells artwork to the public. Emma wants to expand her business online through a mobile app. Users around the world can access her gallery and make a purchase through a mobile app. Emma does not have a team who can do this. He'll need a team of developers, testers, and admin-like people who can accomplish this task. So Emma approaches a software consulting firm and explains her idea. Reggie, the director of Dev and Ops team, explains her process of development, delivery, and service of the software. Avi is the project manager of software development team. Avi explains the software development process to Emma. Freddy, head of the operations, explains Emma how the mobile app will be hosted on the cloud server. So Emma decides to sign the deal after meeting all these experts. Emma is curious by nature and she wants to understand the software development process. So here we go. Software development is a very well defined and organized process. Post phase, requirement gathering and analysis. Information will be collected like product features, who are the users, how it will be used, some user requirements, current state of the market, and few other things. Second phase, planning. What do we want? It determines the cost and resource required for implementation of the product and also the risks associated with it. Third phase, designing. Architects will design the software based on the inputs from previous phase. Architects will produce design documents. These will be basically roadmap for the developers. Development phase. This is where developers will write the software code based on the design. And they already look very excited about it. Software testing. In this phase, the software will be tested by software testers for any defects. Software will be promoted to production only after fixing all the issues. Deployment At this stage, software is deployed to the production environment so users can start using the product. It's the responsibility of system admin and the entire operations team to make sure software is up and running all the time. Final phase, maintenance. It is a balance between regular changes and uptime. Let's see the entire process again. First, requirement gathering, then planning. Architects designs the software, developers create the software, 
testing is conducted by software testers and operations team will deploy and maintain the software. This entire process is called as Software Development Life Cycle, in short SDLC. There are different models in SDLC. We have Waterfall model, Agile, Spiral, Big Bang and there are few others. You can understand these models as path or roadways to reach the same destination as you would choose a roadway based on different factors like cost, risk and time taken to reach your destination. In a waterfall model, each phase must be completed before the next phase can begin. Requirement completes, then only planning begins and then development starts. When everything is completed, all the features will be tested and then maintenance phase starts. It is very difficult here to go back and change something that was not well thought out in the planning. Working software is produced very late in the life cycle. It may take months in our case. Emma is not sure about all the requirement at once. She would like to observe the product development and alter or add new ideas along the line. So, waterfall model is a no-go. So, instead of developing all the requirements for months, it can be divided into smaller lists, work on a list for 2-4 to four weeks and then move on to the next list and so on and so forth. This life cycle is called as Agile. Each iteration could be 2 to 4 weeks. Demonstration of the features can be given to Emma after every iteration. And based on the feedback from Emma, new ideas can be injected in the next iterations. So the development gets started with Agile SDLC. Developers has started coding after all the planning. Avi has instructed Freddy from the operations team to deploy the code on the servers. So it can be further tested by the software testers. The operations team started deploying the code to the server as per the instructions. But at times, testers are not able to access the servers or even their test cases are failing. Avi has informed Freddy about the failed deployment. Freddy is confused as everything was done as per the instructions and servers looks healthy. Agile SDLC puts extra stress on the ops team. There will be regular code changes these changes need to be deployed on the servers so testers can conduct their testings. And this happens several times in a single iteration. Like that, you have several iterations to go. Ops team is tired with regular deployment requests. There are no clear instructions which causes the deployment failures. Ops team is also occupied with production support. They need to maintain system uptime all the time. In between these failures and fixes, Avi has passed the deadline of demonstration. Emma is waiting for a long time to see the first glimpse of her mobile app. Somehow, the team convinces Emma and explains her about the delay. Avi is not happy with the ops team. He reaches out to Freddy to tell him that this cannot be repeating. Dev and Ops are poles apart. Dev is agile, all about regular and quick changes. Ops is ITIL driven, provides stable environment for the product. There is a big wall of confusion in between these two parties. The developer toss their code over the wall and Ops team responsibility is to deploy the code on the servers. Developers complain about delay in deployments. 
of Steam complains about unclear instructions and tossing their work over the wall. Emma has existing customers who want to use the app, but there are frequent delays and errors. Emma is not so happy. Reggie, the director, understands this very well. That unhappy customer could mean direct business loss. Reggie once attended an Agile conference where the host talked about DevOps as how it fixes the code delivery issues. Reggie understood that Dev is Agile but Ops is still waterfall. So Reggie decides to bring in a DevOps consultant who can fix the code delivery issue and skyrocket the business. He explains everyone that he does not have a magic wand. Everyone has to work collaboratively, communicate effectively and integrate the entire code delivery process. He explains and train dev team on ops concepts so they can communicate with ops team more effectively. He also train ops team on agile concepts so ops can collaborate with dev team. And the most important factor, automation training and instruction to every team across the board. Automation of each and every task in code delivery process like code build, code testing, software testing, infra changes, deployments and everything that comes along the way. Wall of confusion is brought down like the Berlin Wall and they decides to work together and together and together okay he seems very happy to work together everyone collaborates like the Avengers the sharp the smart and the intelligent except our superheroes are the developers testers builder release team the sysadmins DB admins and everyone across the board. So the dev and ops start working together. Each and every task is automated in the delivery process by every team. So the whole process can be integrated together. So finally they automated and integrated the delivery process. Good job everyone on board. Really good job. Let's see the entire automated DevOps life cycle now. A completely automated DevOps life cycle. No human intervention, so no human errors. It's repeatable and time saver of course. Emma's any request now can be delivered very quickly because everything is automated. Emma is happy to see her happy customers. Finally, an idea has become a full-fledged business.
Hey, thank you very much for watching the video. You are awesome. Join me for more awesomeness. If you like the video, press the like button, subscribe for more latest updates like this and hit the bell icon so you get constant updates.